Hello, this is How To Bob, and I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filters on a Ford F-250 6-liter diesel. The first one is located here, right below the driver's door, and underneath, right here. First thing I need to do is get my pan underneath and drain the gasoline out. I'm going to use a 6 millimeter Allen or hex key wrench and loosen up the little plug that is in the housing of the fuel filter and once that is loose I'll be able to drain all the fuel out. Here it comes. I've got my pan underneath there to catch all the fuel. Once that's drained out I can go ahead and put my plug back in and tighten it back up. Now I can go over to the side where my filter is, which is right here, and that's going to be a 36 millimeter. So I get my 36 millimeter socket, and I loosen that up. It's kind of hard to get in there. Um, once I get that loosened up enough, I can get the rest by hand. And you'll see the cap comes off a little bit of fuel, and the filter stayed in there in this case. Sometimes it comes out with the cap, but I can just go ahead and pull the filter out of the housing. And I'm supplied with a new o-ring so I'm going to take the old one off of the cap always want to replace that with a new one so just get a little screwdriver and get that out of there discard that and I'll put the new one on just goes around there and make sure that it sits in the grooves of the cap so I'm in all the way around so now I can take my fuel filter and it should snap right into the cap and it stays put like that makes it real nice and easy to put back in once I get back underneath the vehicle. So I take my cap with the filter on it and I slide it up and into the housing and I want to make sure that I get this lined up and get it started by hand before I put any wrench or socket on the cap that way I don't cross thread anything. So I've got it pretty tight by hand, about as tight as I can get it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use my torque wrench, and it's going to be sent to 19 foot-pounds of torque. So back under there, and once I get my torque wrench down in there, I can go ahead and tighten it. And again, I said I used 19 foot-pounds of torque, which is the specification for this particular cap on this particular vehicle. And I've got that. Tightening up right now. And once I hear the click, I'll know that I'm at the torque setting. There we go. And that's it. Now my next filter is located on the top of the engine right here. And to take that cap off, you either use a square drive like I'm using or a 24 millimeter socket will also work. Now once I take the cap off, this whole cup is going to be filled with fuel so what I'm going to do is take a turkey flavor injector that I picked up at a local hardware store and just gently suck out some of the fuel it'll make it a little bit easier I won't have fuel all over my engine when I go to put the new filter in and uh, just suck a little bit of the fuel out and I can put that back in later no big deal so now I can take my fuel filter out there's still a little bit of fuel down in there Once I get that out of there, I can go over to the new one and slide that right in where it goes a little spring-loaded there. Now on the cap, again, you want to replace the O-ring. It does come with the replacement O-ring, so I just take my little screwdriver and take the old one out and put the new one in, put it in the slot all the way around, make sure it's in all the way around, and I'm ready to go back and put my cap on. So I want to get my cap started by hand tight. And then I'm going to come back in with my torque wrench, and this gets tightened to about 10 foot-pounds of torque, or 14 newton meters, if you will. Okay, I've got my torque set up, so now I need to go into the cab and turn the vehicle on for 30 seconds without starting it three separate times, and that'll recharge the fuel system. So this is how you change both fuel filters in a Ford F-250 6-liter diesel. I'm How-To Bob. Thanks for watching.